Lydian Dominant. Lydian Dominant is the fourth mode of the melodic minor scale. The reason that this is important is because we want some more options over dominant chords to get more color. Now Lydian, we love Lydian because it's a super bright sound. It has that sharp four. So Lydian Dominant literally means it's your Lydian scale but with a flat seven. So you have one, two, three, sharp four, five, six, and a flat seven. And you can play this scale over any dominant seventh chord, but especially when you see that sharp 11 alteration in there, Lydian dominant. You see, you know, G7 sharp 11, you play G Lydian dominant. You don't even hesitate. Anytime you see a dominant seventh chord with a sharp 11, instantaneous, you know, right in your mind, that is Lydian dominant. One thing I should, I should tell you, being that it's a sharp 11, right? Our four is sharp, no sus chords. If you see a sus in there, you cannot play Lydian dominant because that sharp four and the regular four will be extremely, extremely dissonant. So because Lydian is usually our four chord, right? You, you would play this over a four dominant seventh chord or a vamp is usually the most common applications of this. And it sounds really, really cool. So check this out. If we do a, uh, let's say, D7 and E7, you know. That is going to give you that Lydian dominant sound. Very cool. Another thing is the 9. If we do, say, a, a D9, if we just do a D9 funk band, you know, like... That is a very cool thing to do Lydian dominant over. There's one more use for Lydian dominant, and that's for tritone substitution. Uh, we're going to talk about that a little later, but just know that you have that option. So let's go over our five shapes for Lydian dominant. Let's do D again. Why not? We're on a roll with D. All right, so this is D, Lydian dominant, pattern one. Pattern three. Pattern four. And last, pattern five. That was your five shapes of your Lydian dominant scale. So what we're going to do is I'm going to play a little jam track here, and I want you to improvise over the Lydian dominant scale, just like we have all of the other ones. And I want you to, again, all five shapes, up and down the neck. Do a vamp for your video, but I also want you to do a progression. So, for example, do that D9 I was telling you, and just mess around with that over top. But also do a progression where you have a four dominant seventh chord, and then a five dominant seventh chord and just kind of go back and forth so d7 and e7 and get into this lydian dominant sound again it's an option to play over dominant seventh chords especially ones with a sharp 11 never with the sus you can also do them with tritone substitutions and we'll get there in the future you know in a couple lessons coming up but for right now really get into the vamp and then the four dominant to five dominant chord and just get a good feel for lydian dominant good luck